stuff over here. You know, something. Seen or something. I don't know what it is. Toaster. I don't know. Who knows? Fan favorite, I guess. I don't know who that is. I don't know what they're yelling about. But anyway, didn't probably didn't pick up on camera. Anyway, welcome back, everyone. We are back again for another garbage day. Doing a night shift. It looks like rain up there. I, I, I don't know. It might rain. It might not rain. I'm not the weatherman. I'm the trash picker. That's about all I can say about that. Anyway, it is trash day. Ooh, golf clubs. Now, who would throw away all those nice golf clubs? It is trash day, but uh, we're making another pit stop. Hope they don't hit the curb. Lose a tire. Fun fact, I got insurance on these tires when I got new tires put in. And the insurance wasn't like car insurance, but it was insurance where if something happened, I was guaranteed that the tires would be all right and get new ones. It was like another $20 per tire. Next stop. Ooh, Fiesta Wear, Fiesta Wear, Fiesta Wear. No. I think Fiesta Wear has a $6 price tag. Believe that's a King Cobra, that club, that large one. Flip it around. It is King Cobra. All right, bunch of left-handed golf clubs. Anyway, let's continue our journey. Oh, she's salty. She just dropped out her tea on the floor. She went to do something, all the tea just went up. Oh, that stuff. Anyway, let's get into the, the adventure and see what happens. Let's do it. Oh, this might fill up my van a little bit quicker than I thought. Let's go and go to the recycling place. See on my side, it's got like stuff up there. That one thing is not good. Um, then I took out all the toys. The bin was broken. I took out all the toys and there's an extra box. Anyway, there's all those recyclables up there. I don't want to ruin my golf clubs. I said I want to take out everything. I took out a couple things. Not everything. Be able to figure this out. Open this door. Getting in the van and out of the van for this trip. I was going to just put it right there, but then I know exactly what would happen. Down here. Hardware. Sometimes they say, I wish I got a pickup truck. And other times I'm like, I'm happy I got a van. Like I've jokingly said, if you guys start pressing random buttons on the video, the like button, the subscribe button, all sorts of randomness, what's this guy doing? Then maybe, just maybe, the YouTube universe can bless me in the algorithm feed and put one of my videos on the home page of YouTube. But until then, I think we're going to just have to rock out every day, however we can. So 
surprised I managed to do that. So yeah, like the next piece I wish I would just know to put it. I don't know what's going on here. Just better have the wheels. There they are. Of course. Of course the car has to come right now. It's a two for one deal. Oh yeah. A two thousand dollar shelf. Yeah. Is that what it is? Well, this thing doesn't slide down on me. No, I'll get it. Thank you. Yeah, yeah it's it's more just awkward. <laughs> I think that's what that is. I don't know why I opened this door. Never done well with selling those record record cabinets. They do have scratches on the legs, but I'm pretty sure you can fix that. Oh, that's a little flimsy. say those things go as jumper packs at the scrapyard. The last time I said that and I took it in, I actually got less less money for that taken into the other building as opposed to just throwing it on the light iron pile. The light iron pile, I wouldn't say you can really get away with a lot, but like you can pretty much throw anything that is pretty much a metal component onto the light iron pile. They say also any appliance that has a cord, which is kind of debatable, um, but it's amazing, like power tools. If you take them to the other building, they actually pay you less money for power tools than they do for light iron. So it's almost like you should just throw it on the light iron pile because it's essentially light iron anyway, even though it could go as a power tool. I don't know where it gets shipped out to. It gets shredded at some point in its life. It's the end, end product of taking stuff to the metal yard regardless of where you bring it. It's a vintage beauty. I guess you just walk around and hold it while you're vacuuming. Alright, they had something here last week. And then people mentioned about these feet that are in the road. They seem to have them every year. It's something with a local high school. Don't ask me anything to do with it because I have no clue. Oh, I saw these. They tried high knees on me. I saw them. These are actually really good golf clubs.
I wonder if this Nike 4 iron is a demo club. It's kind of weird that they would have that. I don't know. I haven't been really in the... Uh... Sometimes these bats sell really well. Also, for some reason, back in the day, they used to have some really odd, like, weight to, to uh, length dimensions for baseball bats, which makes them even more interesting. Like, you'd be able to get an aluminum bat in, like, a 34-inch model with, like, long story short, it'd be very difficult to do that nowadays. In fact, there's so many different rules and regulations that I don't think it's even possible to get some of the uh, dimensions. What I should have done is I should have went to the recycling place before I went trash picking. But I think we'll be able to fit this over here. Sure, got a lot of traffic coming. I don't know if my scrapyard's doing because they haven't used their baler in a while because they're doing all those renovations. I'm half thinking that they are taking the metal. And since they're not baling it, they can't fit as much into a into a truck to ship it out. I kind of think they're taking it to another scrap yard in the area that has their own shredder. And to me, it makes a lot more sense. And they're probably getting some like bulk deal. So they're really not like processing the metal like they would before. They're just kind of like scooping stuff out of the pile and then putting it into a truck and then setting that truck, you know, 20, 30 miles down the road. Whereas before they might ship it, you know, all the way to Newark, New Jersey, or up to Scran, down to Redding. Who knows? I think I also seen like a wheel or something popping out over here on the right, so it might be a bicycle. It is. Huh. Bicycle from Pee Wee Herman or something. J.C. Higgins. Dogs barking. Say, working out so well. across the streets barking. Ah. Can't be so incognito in this. Let me just put it that way. Oh, and the guy came out of his car over there. Everyone sees you and everyone knows you. And speaking of something, these roads need work. Just like my wipers, my wipers need work. could have swore I just changed them out not too long ago. All right, well, it's pouring outside. As you still see, it's, it's raining pretty good. It's, it just never ends here. Um, but yeah, that's wrapping up today. So yeah, I think this might have been, well, probably take out my golf clubs. So I don't know if this one, I don't think this one was a good brand. Max Fly, those are common. Um, but yeah, we have a Cobra, King Cobra over there. I think these are all this might even be a set. That's a tailor made. That's another King Cobra. They are left handed, which is unique. Uh, wherever the heck I put the other golf clubs, oh, they're down there. Weird that we'd find two sets of golf clubs. Well, one's kind of like a driver set, and the other one's like the irons, but they're completely different uh, hands to use. So right handed clubs and left handed drivers. Uh, but then we got this cool bike. So we'll see if that turns out all right. Um, Looks to be in good shape. I mean, it has your typical rust, like any other vintage bike would, but uh, regardless, maybe we'll try selling that. No reason to scrap something like that when someone out there might enjoy a little bit more. We'll see. Um, 
But yeah, it's still raining here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. Thanks for tagging along. I'm going to get inside and get dry, get warm, and uh, probably eat some dinner. So uh, thanks for tagging along, everyone. If you guys enjoyed it, hit the like button. Subscribe down below. Stay dry, even though it's probably dry right now when this video is coming out. But everyone lives in different places. So yeah. Anyway, thanks for tagging along. If you guys enjoyed it, hit the like button. Subscribe down below. Till next time, have a great day. Keep living a dream. Peace.